Hello students, today we are going to see class 10 current electricity full formula list we are going to see, okay. Uh, it is a very useful for your exam, okay. Uh, the first thing we will learn current. Current is equal to charge per unit time, okay. The unit of current is ampere, unit of charge is coulombs, unit of time is second, okay. The next one, voltage is equal to work done by uh, charge okay 1 volt is equal to 1 joule per 1 coulombs okay uh, 1 coulombs according to ohm's law v is directly proportional to i v is equal to r times of i okay so if you want what is r r is equal to v by i r is equal to v by i so the unit of resistance will be ohms Units of unit of volt will be joules. Unit of a uh, unit of volt will be volt only. A uh, unit of current is ampere. Okay, one ohms is equal to one volt by one ampere. Okay, resistance unit. Okay, in case the resistance in series two three resistance in series one two three resistance in series, the total resistance is equal to. You should add all the resistance R one plus R two plus R three. Just you can add the to get the total resistance R one plus R two plus R3. Okay, in case 3 resistance in parallel. 3 resistance in parallel. Okay, we will take it example 3. Uh, whatever number is there, you can use it. So, 1 divided by Rp is equal to 1 divided by R1 plus 1 divided by R2 plus 1 divided by R3. Okay, next, resistivity formula. So, factor affecting resistance, length, area, nature, temperature. If you want resistivity, so, resistance directly proportional to length, inversely proportional to area. Resistance is equal to resistivity times of length by area. If you want what is resistivity, just you should modify the formula. So, resistivity is equal to resistance times of area by length. Okay. This is ohms. This is area is meter square. Length is meter. This get cancelled. Ohm meter. Resistivity unit is going to be ohm meter. Okay. Next is the conductivity. Conductivity is equal to 1 by inversely proportional to resistivity. So, ohm inverse, meter inverse, resistivity. Okay, if you draw the graph V versus I, V is directly proportional to I. So, if you are drawing the graph V versus I, it will be directly proportional. So, V versus I, it is which is obeys the Ohm's law, will get as a straight line. In case, if it is not obeys Ohm's law, we will get as a curved line. V versus I is not directly proportional, you will get as a a curved line okay the slope of this so v by i slope of this is going to be called v by i slope of the graph v divided by i so v divided by i we can call is a r okay v uh, v should be y axis i should be x axis you can take it slope of the graph is going to be resistance okay next energy formula there are four formulas for energy energy is equal to uh, it is work done Energy we can take it as a work done. We can take it volt into charge. Otherwise V I T. Otherwise I square R T. Otherwise V square by R into T. Energy formula. If you want power formula, just divided by time period. That's it. Uh, so full equation divided by time period. Here we'll get time. So V Q by T. Q by T will have current. Okay. Here divided by time period. V I. Here divided by time period. I square R. Here divided by time period v square by r. This is a power formula. Okay. Unit of energy we can take it as a joules. Unit of power we can take it as a watt. Okay. Uh, the next thing 1 kWh kilowatt hour. 1 kWh kilowatt hour is going to be 3.6 into 10 power uh, 6 joules. Okay. 1 kWh to uh, joules. 1 EV is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 90 joules. This and all basic energy units. Okay. Next, very important thing, uh, the resistance. Wire is stretched n times. Okay. N times the wire is stretched. Okay. So, now what is the new resistance? New resistance is going to be n square times of old resistance. Okay. In case wire is stretched to a double the time. 
what is the new resistance double means 2 square will be 4 times will get increased new resistance 3 times square is stretch 9 times will get increased because 3 square okay uh, so new resistance will be n square times of old resistance okay in case that the, the decreasing things okay so n times it get decreased so what is the formula we'll have okay it's at all technical thing r new is equal to r old divided by n square okay uh, so n is how many times it's getting uh, stretched or it's getting uh, like uh, compressed okay like that thank you for watching my channel if you like my channel please subscribe thank you everyone